Uh, yeah, I was, you know, a big thing to come home and uh, actually play Florida State. It's big, probably one of the biggest rivals around here in Clemson, and uh, just for me as a player, you know, just for being with Tallahassee. So this game gonna have a lot coming into it. Do you by far know more players on that team than any other team will play? Uh, yeah, most likely because you know I have a lot of friends that committed to Florida State going through out of recruitment process that I met. Um, mostly, yeah, I, I do have a lot of friends just going through Florida State, so it'll, it'll be a fun, you know, going against them. Who are they? Like who are your closest uh, friends? I still got Tavares McFadden, um, probably one of the corners that play for them, uh, Audie Tate, uh, Murray, all them guys that play on the opposite side of the ball. Uh, it's a lot of them. Can't sit here and just name them, but um, it's gonna be fun just actually competing against some guys and you know actually doing what we love together. So. Great experience. Kate had a big game against y'all last year, but but you came out on top. Did y'all go back and forth after the game? Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we had we had our uh, moments just talking about it, but at the end of the day, it's all just you know fun. At the end of the day, and uh, came down with a W, so we had we had a lot to talk about then. So that's all that matter. How, how big was uh, watching the the matchup between Clemson and Florida State over the years? Those big games that, that they had uh, in your recruitment and uh, your decision between. Um, it's uh, it's actually pretty pretty big though because this is always um, one of the biggest rivalry that they have in Clemson history. It's just the Clemson Forest State game, and this is actually a game to uh, clinch the ACC title. So this is gonna really mean a lot coming to this game just from both sides. Um, and you always want to be in games like that when growing up and watching that through recruitment and stuff like that. And now I actually get to experience that again, so it's gonna be a good thing. And uh, you know, it should, it should be fun. Obviously, it was a huge blow for them when Francois went out in the first game, but how surprised were you as the season's gone? I'm sure you watched them at least out of the corner of your eye. How surprised were you the way the season has turned out for them? That's not a typical Florida State record. Man, at the end of the day, Florida State still is Florida State. I still don't see Florida State, even just looking at their record, they're still a great team. Uh, they lost maybe like two or three games just by down by the wire. At the end of the day, I think they still have a physical, tough defense and a uh, um, great uh, off, um, offense with their young quarterback. He's looking pretty good. so. End of the day, I still, I still like their team. I still don't doubt Florida State. At the end of the day, we still gonna get the best from them at the end of the day, and uh, we just gotta show up and execute. Beyond with the, the deep balls over the last couple of games, I guess y'all missed them quite a few of them. Is it the feeling that, that you're close and that you're, it's only a matter of time before you finally break through? All? Oh yeah, so that just happened. That's part of the game. Um, just missed on missed on a few throws, but that's that's still part of our game. Just being aggressive down the field, we still gonna take them shots. So at the end of the day, we always try to uh, keep keep them plays going down because at the end of the day, um, that's what that's what our offense is known for. And you know, uh, Kelly is just getting getting back into his groove, just coming off the injury. So at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back in, get ready to um, you know execute on those throws, any type of throws. So I think we'll be straight just going through another week of practice. Should be good. It's part of it. On the receivers, maybe there's been some drops. And maybe I mean, yeah, that. it's 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 all it's all around the whole thing. It could be receivers on just maybe uh, dropping the ball, maybe not coming down with the play, or it could be anything um, coverage wise. It's, it's a lot of things that goes into it. Beyond, I know you guys say every game is the biggest game of the year as the motto for it all. But when you guys have decided the last eight Atlantic Division titles and your ties to it all, is there a different vibe? for the game, pregame against the Seminoles? Um, I mean, it's, it's probably been a little bit more intense because this is probably the biggest game of the season. Actually now because we're going to clinch the ACC and this is really one of our goals that we want to just cancel out. Um, so really this game is going to, we got to come in there with a, a good humble mindset and really be ready to attack because at the end of the day, we're going to get the best of Florida State. And I know they're going to come playing hard and we got to, you know, we got to match that and come out with a W. So. How have you stepped into a leadership position uh, this year among the wide receivers? What have you been teaching some of the younger guys? Uh, really just trying to uh, lead by example by just my, my play and stuff like that. Uh, just trying to show them the ropes of really how being a, you know, a star receiver is. Um, I, try, I try to be good in the meeting rooms, try to be more vocal to them, just to you know, show them examples. Because um, I was there before. I had to learn my ropes just from Mike Williams or from Sharon or any other older guys I had. So just want to be there for them, but just by showing them just the little things. Dion, a big chunk of your production this season has come over the course of the last three games. Uh, how have you felt about your usage uh, ever since the Syracuse game? Um, really just coming in a little bit more and just being reliable. I want to be more of a reliable player, um, an every down player. Um, so I'm just consistently working on just me as an individual and so I can you know, help my offense out, help this team out at the end of the day. And uh, you know, my progress has been good. I, I think I still got a little bit more opportunities I need to work on just to you know, excel, as a, uh, excel my game. But, in the, the day, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna beat down on my performance. I think I did good. I got a lot more improvement. One more question. 
Did you ever uh, go against Ray Ray and 7-on-7s seven seven, or when you guys were messing around? Oh yeah, for sure. When, once we doing like one on one and stuff like that, I, I try to give them a little bit of uh, competition because it's, we used to do that growing up a lot. So uh, it's always good to always see them back on the other side of the field and we're going against each other. You know, I just have that competitive level and I always try to make him better and make me better also. So. How do you critique his game at corner? Uh, I try to like just help him just on like certain things, maybe like man technique or use his hand in certain places because we both played a position growing up and, and I know he's he's good at that position too. So. So yeah, I try to do my best way to help him. Do you think you can go up against a bigger receiver? 